So I just uh, wanted to record this quick video to show you uh, how we can identify elements on the page using XPath. And this will be useful for people that will be performing automated tests on their system using Codeception, which I highly recommend doing always before any type of deployment. So I'll put this up in a playlist for Codeception testing, and then um, you can refer to it during your actual test building phase. So what we're doing here is we're trying to identify a more tricky element, which is basically we have a diff container here which contains this label, and then we have the neighboring diff container which contains this select box here. So essentially what I want to do is try to identify the select box that is here to either get values from it or select values in uh, Codeception. So the way that I would write the test is, uh, first of all, I would go to the Firefox console and then in the Firefox console, you can write commands using this syntax, uh, which is basically X, and then we have the uh, parentheses here, and then we have the uh, and then we have the actual X path. So we can see here that the simple structure is that the stuff that I can identify with the label is this diff container here, and then I want the neighboring diff container that's underneath it. So it's not inside of it. This is not a parent. This is like a sibling, a child. And then I want to go to this diff container, and then inside this neighboring diff container, I want to see the select element. So the way that I would do it is basically write the query this way. So I want to identify the div which is here. And the way that I would do it is I would specify that this div contains text which says bathrooms. So that identifies this div. And then I want to say that for the following sibling, so for the neighbor that follows it, I want to see uh, the div, the following neighboring div, and inside that following neighboring div, I want to see the select element. So we can see the this in action here. This div has been identified, then the following sibling, which is here, I'm going to get the select element, which is here. So then inside your code, you can do things like uh, with the codeception, you can say, I want to select an option. This is the place where I'm selecting the option. So essentially this box here, and then the option that I want to select, let's say option number one, and that is going to perform the selection for you. If you found this video at all helpful, please do leave a like. And if you have any questions specifically about the codeception testing of Sweet CRM, please do let me know. It will be my pleasure to answer it. Thank you.